One of the things Jesus believed that we, are, we should be committed to as a church is to pray. So let us turn now to God in prayer. God of grace and truth, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us peace that surpasses all understanding. Humble and quiet our hearts today, tomorrow and throughout the week, so we might see you and hear you and sense your presence. God, we thank you for the many blessings in our lives, for friends and family who love us because of our quirks and despite our flaws for work that contributes to the well-being of your people and your world, for hearts that beat, even when irregular or more slowly than they once did, for hearts that feel deeply and yearn for what is good. We thank you, God, for minds that wander, for imaginations that take us beyond ourselves and into the worlds of possibility, fantasy, joy, and relief. In all good things, you are there. Help us then to notice you even when and where we don't expect you. Give us faith in your steadfast love and your abundant grace that you will be where you need to be. So too, help us to be where we need to be. Help us to carry your word and embody your ways in places that need hope, goodness, justice, patience, and wisdom. Equip us to offer hope when those around us seem lost. Equip us with your goodness and compassion when bitterness and strife surround us. Soften our hearts to seek justice for the dispossessed and disfavored, the hurt and the homeless, and the broken and afraid. Help us to remember Jesus' resurrection and the news that salvation, hope, and new life are never too far away. Where we are limited, God, be especially present. Comfort those afflicted with grief. Bring your presence to those who are lonely. Restore in body and in spirit those who are sick and suffering. Make your good news known, even when our conditions are most bleak and our spirits tired from disappointment. In those moments, show us you are the God of resurrection. Because of who you are, God, we praise you. We praise you for all that you are and all you inspire us to be. With and through you, we are our best selves. By your grace, we are changed. Individually and collectively, we are transformed by your mercy and love. May we be quick this week to remember and to give thanks for how you have changed us. And let us give thanks even for the ways we still must grow. We give all glory and honor to you, O God. And let us bring our praise and our pleas to you in one voice as we pray the prayer your Son taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>